to weather Leah Freeman here now and it is a noticeably cooler evening uh, than earlier this uh, this week Leah. Yeah, it's a little chilly out there. You definitely needed your jacket today and uh, we did stay dry for the most part though, but yesterday we were in the 70s today. We're in the 50s, so quite uh, the change over the last 24 hours, but I want to show you some pictures that we received to our page today. A lot of pretty blue skies out there. We had those big cumulus clouds and so that created some really nice pictures for us today, but also I want you to notice the amount of green that we see here on the ground. I've been driving around a lot and seeing a lot of this on our hillsides and it's crazy to see how much that rain has impacted us in a positive way. You can, it's just beautiful out there, but also some negatives about it. You can see, yeah, all the green out there, but look at the roadways, what some of that rain has done uh, here in our county as well. This is near Caliente. Uh, thank you guys for showing your pictures. Keep on sending them to us. You can find me online and send me all your pictures that you take. Uh, love to share them online and share them on air as well. So for today, we did start off the day with some heavier rain down towards the Grapevine area and for Fraser Park. We saw a little bit of that dusting snow as well earlier on in the morning for Pine Mountain Club and those higher elevations, but then that kind of moved off throughout the afternoon. We saw a few scattered showers and now things look mostly dry here for our evening. Those clouds still hanging out out there, but our temperatures, like you said, have been noticeably a lot cooler today. We got to 59 degrees, so below normal. We have not been below normal in quite some days, so today is going to be kind of be the start of that uh, trend here for the next couple of days. 45 degrees right now. No measurable rain here today in Bakersfield. So uh, yes, we're in the mid 40s. Dew points in the, in the 30s, so showing that drier air that is now in place. Winds light here for us, but uh, not so light in other areas. Uh, look at those wind speeds for Tehachapi as well as Mojave. Tehachapi sitting at the freezing mark right now, so definitely much cooler over there. Mojave in uh, the lower 40s over there, but you can see that those winds are nice and strong. Uh, you see gusts even almost up to 30 degrees for Breckenridge, 24 for Wofford Heights, 13 at the Grapevine. So it's the mountain communities that are seeing those stronger winds and through those passes, and that'll be the story overnight tonight as well. So we're still getting that wind from the northwest in, and so that's that. That's why our air quality has been so good. It's bringing in that fresh uh, breeze on shore, but yeah, it's creating some stronger gusts for our day, and that's also what's helping uh, temperatures definitely feel cool than what they're even reading. So overnight tonight, still a little bit of moisture in place. So all of that in terms of those areas that are so cool. Breckenridge is in the teens right now. They could definitely see some of that turn to snowfall pretty quickly overnight, but we're not going to have a lot of moisture to be working with as we head towards Thursday, and then we'll stay dry for most of the rest of our Thursday as well as into Friday. We'll see some sunshine in there as well, but we still have this wind advisory in effect until uh, after midnight, so those areas still going to stay breezy, and we also do have a winter weather advisory uh, that has been issued, but really, like I said, dusting if we do see anything at past level, but I don't think we're going to have all that much to work with here, but just know that that is something we could be expecting if you do see anything, possibly on some slick roadways if you're going through the passes earlier on in the morning. But good air quality will stick for us. No restrictions, but burning not encouraged. So the next couple days we will stay dry, but high pressure tries to build in on Friday. That's why we're talking about some morning fog and possible frost that will develop, but temperatures staying in the 50s back to 60s on Saturday, but then our next system comes into play. And so Sunday looks like the wet day here for us as well as Monday, a little breezy as well. Well, Kern River Valley, same story there. Better chance in those higher elevations for the rain on Sunday as well as Monday. And then the mountains, much colder, upper 30s for our day tomorrow. Those winds will stick. And then uh, we are talking about some possible past level snow with this next system because of these cooler temperatures yeah. for this upcoming weekend. It definitely is going to be something that's... Feel uh, a little winter-like now. <laughs> yeah, definitely. All right. Thank you, Leah. <laughs>